Abby White. And Hello. We are going to be making a dessert for our Sunday dinner from Feast of Serendip. Um, it's mango fluff. And I'm going to see if we can just follow the recipe and uh, have it come out. So, it's pretty straightforward. The first step we did already, yes, we had to we had to let the cream cheese come to room temperature because it was in the fridge. So go ahead and open that package. Awesome. And then that gets dumped into here. So go ahead and throw that in to the stand mixer. All right, and then we're gonna add one can, a uh, 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk. So this is a pop top, you know how to open those, right? Yeah. Good? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes, Kavya can be a little perfectionist, so if I say to her to get all of it in, she might just keep us standing here for 20 minutes, and this is supposed to be a 15 minute recipe. <laughs> so, all right, so go ahead and press start. This is gonna get very loud in just a minute. All right. Now that it's started, go ahead and spin that dial up to 12. So what the recipe says, when it's all clear with no white pieces left, which is pretty much where we are, then we add a 30 ounce can of mango pulp. This can be a little hard to open if you're not used to doing it. You can always get a crown up to help you. All right, pour it in. It smells good. It smells like mango. Yes. It smells <laughs> like Sri Lanka. So next time we go to Sri Lanka, we will make sure to go in the summer instead of the winter so that we can have fresh mango and then you can be just like me and come back here and be like why why is there no real mango here in chicago it's an excellent question okay again turn this down to one start it up that looks pretty well blended okay while it's mixing this says but honestly that doesn't take very long so Take two gelatin packets, empty those into a microwave safe container with a half cup of water. We already got, yes, we already got a half cup of water ready. Excellent. And then we need a fork. Stir it a little bit. You're gonna dissolve the crystals somewhat. And then, um, then we're gonna microwave it for 30 seconds, which will help it finish dissolving. So there are a lot of ways to make mango fluff. Some people make it with eggs, some make it with flavored gelatin, sometimes people put um, diced tin fruit in. Um, we're just gonna do the straight up classic basic mango fluff today. Now, we are gonna use Cool Whip. Can you get some Cool Whip out of the fridge? So when I asked Kevin to put Cool Whip on the shopping list, he was like, it's that blue container, you see it? Yeah. He said, can't we just use whipping cream? And I said, we could, but we're not going to because my mother made it with Cool Whip and her mother made it with Cool Whip. I don't know whether her mother made it with Cool Whip. Probably not. Probably <laughs> Emma did not make um, mango fluff with Cool Whip, or probably at all, in fact. But, but my mom made it with Cool Whip, so we will as well. Good, this looks nicely dissolved. Good, okay, pour that into the mango mixture. All right, here you go. I know, yeah, I'll, I opened the cream. Is that what it was, you could tell? All right, go ahead and close that again. And on low. So we're gonna take this off. Now folding is this cooking technique where the whole point of it is you want things to stay like nice and light and fluffy. So you've gotta be gentle and dirty. I took it off the lid. <laughs> okay. You weren't gonna use that part. We, okay. we weren't gonna use that part. All right, so go ahead and you can actually just put the whole thing in first. What you wanna do, you're, you're mixing it but you're just gonna try and keep mixing it gently, so because you wanna you wanna get it all mixed together pretty well. How does that look? 
does it look like it's all basically the same color now? No. <laughs> Not quite. It's getting there. You're okay. almost there. And then that last bit that wasn't quite blended, we'll blend it in right now. And then this is, if you were gonna stir in fruit, this is the point at which you would start in, stir in fruit, like bits of dried, uh, cut up mango, fresh mango or tin fruit, tin pineapple, etc. All right. So is this supposed to be like a marshmallow consistency or something when it comes out? Or what? It's like a fluffy pudding is what it is. So that's basically it and then you scoop it out and um, we're gonna stick plastic wrap over it and put it in the fridge and let it set for, I wanna say like four hours. Um, and then we'll be, we'll be able to scoop and cut it for our Sunday dinner. Okay, so I'm back. This is Marianne Monraj with? Covey White. Covey White. And we were going to show you the unveiling of the mango fluff. So now we're gonna try and remember everything we had to say. One thing was that when you put the plastic wrap down, you try and press it down onto the top of the fluff um, so it makes a nice seal then uh, otherwise you'll get a skin forming on the top of it. Um, then once you pull it back, you just scoop it out and serve. Um, I also chopped some fresh mango, which we just added onto the top of our mango fluff. Um, you don't have to. You, it is fairly sweet straight up with the slightly tart, um, slightly underripe mango we have here. It actually is, I think, a pretty perfect contrast, yes? Yeah, Covey loves it. I love it. <laughs> But uh, you could um, add a little lime juice uh, if you wanted a little more of that tartness in the fluff. Be careful because if you put too much citric stuff in, you might have trouble with it setting. Um, you can also, in addition to mango, you could do pineapple, which again is a little citrus, so too much might interfere with setting. Um, you can do lots of other fruits. Um, and lots of other flavorings like saffron or cardamom. Uh, you can also make, my mother would make trays of lime fluff and she would make them days before a party, make a bunch of trays and stick them in the fridge in the basement. So she just pulled them out at the party. That's it, mango fluff. <laughs>